Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I would like to welcome you on the next uh, uh, our small session about uh, and webinar about the asset transfers in Dyna AEM. Today with me is Egle, uh, who is uh, our marketing uh, manager, and she will also listen. And if you will have any questions, she will uh, also. Uh, be here to help me to answer them. My name is Krzysztof Belfons. Uh, I'm responsible in Dynaway for uh, development team and also uh, I'm a product owner for a business central application, uh, which you will see today. And uh, that was all about the presentation. So let's uh, move to real system. Uh, as I said, I will talk today about the asset uh, transfer and I will try to do it in uh, uh, just a few minutes and short, uh, a short introduction to that. But let's start with from the asset card because I just would like to show you something there which uh, is useful also for this functionality. So all our assets which we have uh, can be on some location. By location, what I have in mind is, uh, for example, physical location where you have your assets, right? the same as you have warehouse location for the items or uh, location for the fixes, you can have also the locations for the, your maintenance assets. Uh, important one thing here is that uh, you can uh, also edit and see uh, what we have here. So for example, we have address information, we have also contact, and also we have a GPS coordinate. Uh, you can see also that we have a mark that location is in transit. Uh, that means that uh, if we are doing the transfer between one location and another location, we can put this location as a middle location. So for example, your carrier, it can be such uh, in transit or it can be, uh, it can be uh, for example, some your track or whatever else or it can just be simple like in transit like a virtual location so that's uh, about the location and remember that you can you are not forced to use the asset transfer uh, you always can do the very simple change of the location just by just changing the location here and i can for example put it directly to the uh, to the location uh, uh, home office one However, uh, there are companies uh, which uh, require more um, uh, process uh, 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 process uh, approach to moving assets between two locations, right? So how we can do it? Let's uh, uh, close this one and let's go to something which we uh, call asset transfer. So if we will go to the menu and here uh, I will find asset transfers. So just let me uh, click it. And today we will be moving uh, asset from one location to another, but we also would like to move not only, uh, uh, not only uh, the asset, but all the child assets. Uh, which we have. Remember that you can have many assets uh, assigned to uh, to your asset. So how we can do it in very easy way. If I will click uh, new and I will click, uh, I have two options, uh, two locations here. One is from location and one is to location. That means from which a location I would like to move assets to which location. So let's uh, just uh, uh, move it from the location main hall to another location, which is uh, my section one. Uh, you can see that in trans uh, transit code is automatically filled because I have an asset transfer route which automatically fill uh, this for me. So I don't need to uh, fill it manually if it's not me. Another thing which you can set here is that you can set what will be the new asset status when we will ship it. So for example, we would like to ship to this location because something is wrong with the asset. 
So automatically I can change that, okay, the asset will be in a limited uh, use uh, st status. Two more things which you have here is a checklist. So what you can do, you can assign the checklist before shipment needs to be done and after uh, and before uh, the receipt is done. So let me just choose the before uh, shipment asset and also before receive asset. It means that we will not be able to close the document if we will not, uh, not fill some questions about the uh, documentation. And uh, what I would like to do, I would like to move one asset and let's choose uh, my mach uh, cleaning machine. Uh, and uh, I will just mark this one. You can see that I have one line, it's uh, a bold one, because below of that I have another assets which need to be moved together with this, because I'm also moving the child assets with this process. So this is my uh, cleaning machine, but it contains the wheels, it contains also some filler cup. So what I need to do, I need to uh, move uh, all of them. And uh, you can see here that I have a possibility to attach my asset to different parent. So uh, because my asset tree looks like that I have an asset uh, attached, uh, I have my virtual asset, which I would like to attach uh, this to my cleaning machines on uh, this particle location. So let me just uh, choose this one. And that will allow me that uh, after I will receive the items, uh, instead of a parent, uh, which at this moment is uh, a number 30, I will assign uh, 29, sorry, uh, I will uh, assign it to parent number 155. Okay. So this is how the document uh, it looks. Of course, I can put more assets on the same uh, on the same uh, transfer so uh, thanks to that you can just ship uh, all the container over or even of assets to another location so what i need to do i need to fill the shipment and fill before receive so uh, let me see what questions i need to answer so before shipment what i have here and this is a custom uh, a custom uh, checklist you can use it you don't need to use it where you can set up the questions, right? So uh, I set up uh, such questions as what is the name of uh, name of the carrier? So let's see, it, it's uh, DHL, and what is the package number? For example, uh, it's like this, right? And other questions as well. As you can see, I also can take a photo if it's needed, and I can submit it when it's done. Right, so at this moment, one of your employees, which is sitting in this location, uh, can pause the shipment. Right, so I'm shipping now goods. My all goods are shipped, right? so assets are shipped. And uh, now, let's say next day, uh, someone uh, came to location uh, 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 this one, so on uh, section one and uh, receive those uh, those uh, those uh, assets right so he also need to go and uh, check the received uh, checklist what he has here he has okay if package was in the good condition it was good how many assets arrived he just counted so he can put five and he also need to put the transfer document as you can see you can put a very different types of the fields here so i will submit it at this moment i also can receive the goods so uh, i'm going and i will just receive my assets All right okay so we ship it so let's see our asset tree and uh, let's see uh, uh, let's see where is my Set at this moment in the tree, remember that we uh, added it to a different parent. So I expected that it would be at my parent 155. So let's open this parent. Okay, I have my cleaning machine number 28. So good, and I have all my uh, parent asset, uh, uh, child assets as well. 
Right. What uh, you can also uh, do with the transfer, so uh, you can see the transfer entries, which uh, contains all the movements which we did. So if we will, uh, uh, if we will just check the last one, you can see that we received and shipped, right, uh, uh, assets. And you have all the history, uh, when it was posted, what was the document. I also can open the document from here. So I can uh, just uh, open my asset uh, transfer received and I can also inspect what were the answers from my, uh, from my uh, checklist, which I have here. But I also can see uh, who, uh, how it was moved and what assets were on, the, uh, on uh, my uh, asset transfer receipt. The same, of course, I can also do for the shipment. So, uh, uh, so this is very a similar document. Maybe you don't need to transfer it between one. Uh, one uh, you need to transfer it between one location and another location, but you just don't want to do it in a, a very structured way. Like one person is uh, shipping it, the second one is receiving. You just want to very simply and move assets between the locations uh, quite fast, you also can do it. So let's move it back to, uh, to my location. So, uh, but I will use one feature which you also will find on the asset transfer order. So let me choose the, uh, my asset uh, location uh, uh, section one because we will move it here and let's move it back to main hall. But instead of using in transit, I will just mark that this is the direct transfer. And direct transfer means that we, instead of shipping and receiving, we will just post it as one transaction. So let me choose the asset, which we need to do, and we will again move the whole, uh, uh, the whole, uh, 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 the whole, uh, the whole cleaning machine with wheels and so on. We will choose again our uh, parent to move it to another one. Of course, you don't need to do it, but that's the option which you also have. So let me just choose cleaning machine on hollow one, right? And uh, I will just post. So difference, as you can see, I don't need to ship and receive. I just post it. So if we will go, uh, if we will go to the asset tree right now, and uh, as you can see, I don't have any assets anymore on cleaning machine uh, machines on this uh, location, but I have them here in the cleaning machine hall one. So my asset 28 was totally moved to different, uh, different asset structure, right? And of course, if I will go to, the, uh, uh, to my asset uh, uh, transfer entries, you will see that I also ship it and move it. So I have my receipts and shipment. A little simpler because we don't have this in transit location between, but we still have <clears throat> information that it was shipped and it was received. So if I will uh, click the document, I still will be able to open it. So now I open as a transfer shipment and you can see when I ship it and what was shipped over the same document. And uh, that would be uh, all. So let me just uh, go back a second to the presentation. And uh, um, I just would like to uh, mention to uh, and uh, advise you to go to the, our website uh, and dynaway.com and you will find all the information there. You also uh, will find that we have another uh, quick webinar uh, next week about the fixed assets uh, integration when we will cre create a fixed asset and I will show you how the fixed asset integration works. So I don't see any questions. So thank you very much uh, uh, for this meeting and see you next time.